This is gonna be a bit, this is gonna be a very pivotal season for the Houston Rockets in more ways than one. So the obvious one is that, you know, they have this incredibly unexpected season last year, finished 41 and 41. We're really competing for that playing spot until the end. And they have this incredible winning streak towards the end of the season. It was 11 games and they have so many great young guys and they have these veterans around them who complement them really well. And so naturally, I think they're one of the more fascinating young teams in the league because they do have like so much young talent, like an excessive amount of young talent. And naturally any team with that much young talent, especially one that did what they did last year in reaching 500, you want to see what the next step is, both how those guys develop on an individual level, whether it's Jalen Green, Alfred Shangoon, Jabari Smith Jr., Cam Whitmore, Amen Thompson, like all those guys still have so much room to go. So naturally you want to see how they go on an individual level. And then you also want to see, okay, what does that then mean for the Rockets in their place in the Western Conference? Can they break through into the play-in tournament? Can they break through above the play-in tournament into a real playoff spot? I don't know, but I'm definitely excited to find out. But I think the other thing that's super fascinating about this upcoming season for the Rockets, and that could change within the next month, is that Alfred Shangoon and Jalen Green, Houston's two best players and franchise pillars, still haven't signed rookie extensions. That's usually very peculiar for guys of their talent, usually rookie extensions for either a talent like Shangoon, who was a top three most improved player this past year, or Jalen Green, a top pick. Usually those things get done pretty quickly, but they haven't gotten done for either of them. And so obviously things can change between now and the start of the season, which is when guys can sign the extension. I believe they could sign the extension up until the, the season starts. And then after that, they would enter restrict free agency next summer. But I just think it's so fascinating because I do think the Rockets are still trying to figure out what this team is and, and where we work best because Shangun, I think, has established himself as their best player. I think he's an incredible playmaker, baby Jokic, all that stuff. But then there was also the 11 game winning streak to end the season. Nine of those wins came without Shangun, where Jalen Green really started to look like, you know, a budding star, it averaged over 30 points on incredibly efficient shooting, 50% from the field, 45% from three, seven rebounds, four assists. And, and I imagine a lot of that had to do with switching up the play style of not necessarily playing next to a slow, prodding big who liked to have the ball in his hands. And that's not an insult to Shingun because when he does have the ball in his hands, it works really well. But it's, it's those contrasting styles. And so I think this season is going to be so fascinating for the Houston Rockets, both, like I said at the top, in terms of, you know, just progressing at an individual level and what that can mean from a team perspective, but also, okay, what do we want our style to be? What Which style are we most effective like, are we more, like, should we focus more on empowering Jalen Green or should we keep the ball in the hands of Shangun? Figuring that out over the course of an entire season. And then within, within that, also figuring out which one of our young players, you know, fits best along, like, in which system. Like, where do these guys fit in around each of those guys? I, I think it's going to say a lot. So I think if those guys don't get extensions done, I think that's what this season is going to be. It's, of course, trying to build off what you did last season and try to break through into the playoffs or the play-in and, and keep taking those steps. But I also think it's going to be, okay, we sort of are in stuck between two directions sort of, of Jalen Green and Alfred Shangun, and we need to pick one. And because you're, you're talking about committing probably at least north of like 150 million on it, probably even 200 million, I don't know, depending on what the number winds up being for one or, or both of those. So if you're talking about, you're on the verge of committing hundreds of millions of dollars to a direction, you, you better pick, you know, you better think that that's the right one. You better know that that's the right one. And so if those extensions don't get done, I think that's what this entire season is going to be about for the Rockets. And so you hope that if that is the case and that they don't sign those extensions, that they are able to come to a conclusion about, okay, we want to be focused more on Jalen Green. We want to be focused more on Alfred Shangun. And if they do come to that conclusion, that it's the right one for them, because this team, I think, is one of the most fascinating, intriguing, mysterious teams because of all the young talent they have. Like, I really don't think it's crazy to say that they have the most young talent or most young, like intriguing, like they're just loaded with so much young talent. Um, you know, like they even drafted Reed Shepard third overall, like that's just another guy for them to try and figure out where he fits. So this is going to be such a pivotal season for the Rockets. And I think it could really be sort of an inflection point where we look back on this season and the results that it had and, and what it meant for the front office and how they decide to build things going forward and say, oh, this really was like the turning point and, and that's exciting. And, and so I'm very excited and I'm intrigued to see how it plays out.